Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today the washing machine motor wiring connection. Alright, so let's get started. Alright friends, many of you requested how to wire this washing machine motor. I show it to you plenty of times, but I'm going to show it one more time with no problem there. Alright, this is a washing machine motor from an Indesit washing machine. This is an universal motor. Why it's called universal? Because it can run both on AC and DC. All right. Now, on this part, it's got a diagram here, which I'm gonna make it bigger for you guys, yeah? This is the manufacturer and this is the wiring stuff. Basically, it's got three, it's got two coils, but one is like a center tap here. And it's got this. Two brushes, there we go. Two brushes, the taco coil, the stator, and the rotor. That's about it. Yeah. As you can see in this diagram here, we're gonna bridge one of the coils to with connected with one of the um, brushes. All right. Now get back to the motor. These are the brushes. Yeah. These two are the brushes. We're gonna follow the wires all the way to the back yeah so this wire is going is blue as you can see it here is going over here so is this is the second pin yeah as you can see here close up yeah this blue wire here is the second pin on this side let's remove these wires god damn it all right so this one is this there you go on the other side is a black one the black one is the first one over here this one here so we have identified the, the brushes now the coils are three of them they are following this uh, blue one here yeah one two three so one two and three and the two the rest two of them are the taco wires which we're not gonna use all right now let's have a one more look to the diagram and see and uh, just starting from bottom up eight seven six all right so taco is eight so we're gonna count down eight seven six is blank five four three two one so one to five we're gonna use yeah let's go back uh, right so three we're gonna connect with two so we said five four three three we're gonna connect with two just like so no rocket science folks so and one and the last one, we're gonna connect it straight away to the battery. All right, so let's make a test. All right, friends, we have made it here, the battery. This is an 18 volts battery. We have the wires, which is five and one. And test. Here you go, friends. It's working as a chair. It's working as a chair. Let's turn it the other way. It's working in the same direction, folks. Okay, and it's accelerating. It's accelerating like crazy. Alright, let's connect the multimeter to see how many amps this one draws. Alright, we have here the multimeter connected in series to the amp reading. One to the plus and the other one. Okay, 1.0. And although it's accelerating, the amp draw is decreasing. Here we go, it's decreasing 0 0.71 and that's about it. Now it's steady. Ah, it's decreasing as well. Yeah. So there you have it folks. Thanks all for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe and see you on another motor. Yeah!